Hey, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be talking about how to run a successful cold email campaign step by step. So before I start, just wanted to let you all know that I'm launching a new program on July 1st. I'll put the link below. But basically it's going to be me outlining every single step of the sales process, including how to build prospect lists, how to run cold email campaigns, what messaging to use, how to cold call, how to hire people for your sales team, what CRM to use, how to set it up all that kind of stuff. So it's basically everything step by step that I do to run a sales process, but obviously it's much more affordable than hiring me full time or hiring my consulting services. So I'm starting it at $300 a month. Uh, I want people to sign up before July 1st so I know how many people are going to be in it, uh, but I'm going to bump the price up to $400 a month after that. So go ahead and sign up. Also, it'll be an ongoing thing. So there'll be new content added. You can suggest new topics, ask, new vi ask for new videos. Um, and you can always email or chat directly with me if you have any questions. So go ahead and check that out. Um, but today in this video, I'm going to talk real, real briefly about just one component of the sales process, the cold email campaign. So to run a cold email campaign and actually get responses, you need to do several different things. So number one, you're going to want to use some sort of emailing software. There's so many good ones out there, but Lemlist, Mailshake, Woodpecker are a few that I've used. Um, all of those work pretty well, so I would just maybe play around with one or two of them, just pick what works for you. It doesn't really matter which one you pick because they, um, they all work pretty well. Number two, uh, you want to build a prospect list. So you can either hire someone to do this, you can do it yourself. Basically what you want to do though is you want to do some manual research to make sure the emails you're getting are good and up to date. Uh, then you want to verify those emails. So you can verify those emails using a lot of different services. There's Never Bounce, uh, there's Blaze Verify, there's a few others. Basically what verifying emails means is just checking that they're actually valid emails. Because if you put a bunch of non-valid emails into your email campaign, you'll get a ton of bounces and then none of your emails will actually get delivered because they'll all be marked as spam. So the next thing you want to do is decide on the messaging. I think this is by far the most important part. Um, you can do all the technical details of this correctly, but if you have really bad messaging or if you have a really bad approach, you're not going to have success. So there's a few things to keep in mind with the messaging in your first cold email. Number one, it should be very simple. Don't send a long email. If you're sending a three paragraph email explaining everything that your company does, people are just not going to read it. It doesn't matter if you have good results or if uh, you're a good company or you offer a good service, people just won't read it. So you're not even going to get past step one. So number one, keep it extremely simple. Number two, don't ask for too much. Uh, the cold email should just be an intro. You shouldn't necessarily be asking people to commit to buying or you shouldn't necessarily ask people for a meeting right away. Right? They're just figuring out who you are. Let them take an easy first step that doesn't require getting on a 30 minute phone call with you. So for me, I usually try and send over a video. I just send one or two sentences about what I do and then a video so they can learn more. It's an easy way for them to get more information uh, without having to get on the phone with me. So have a very clear, easy first step for someone to take. Number three, actually give good information. Um, I know this is a little bit of a tricky one, but what you want to do is show very specifically what you offer and what you do. Uh, you should not just be saying, hey, we offer this service. Do you want to buy it or are you interested? Um, that's basically just treating yourself and your service like a commodity. What you want to do is show specifically why you're an expert, show specifically what your strategies are, so that you actually get genuine interest in working with you. Uh, the goal of the cold email campaign really should be to grow your pipeline, but you want to grow your pipeline with really interested leads. You don't want a bunch of people who barely are interested or he, who you have to chase down to sign up for your service. Uh, you want a bunch of people to get genuinely interested so that you have some a few easy closes. Next thing to keep in mind is you should do a follow-up email or two. Um, but don't just send an email saying, hey, I'm just reminding you of this, hey, or hey, did you get my first email? That's pretty much, an, it, you know, it's just annoying, um, doesn't really add anything. Send a different type of email that has something interesting to say. Send them a different video. Send them um, something else that might be interesting to them, but don't just say, hey, want to see if you got my first email. Uh, in all likelihood, they saw it and they weren't interested enough to reply. So just reminding them isn't going to get them to actually reply this time. So that's a pretty brief overview of how to run a cold email campaign. I hope it's helped. If you want my more detailed uh, instructions for how to run a cold email campaign with a bunch of specific examples, check out the link below for the program I'm launching on July 1st. Uh, I want to get a few people signed up for it this week. And if you sign up this week, you can actually suggest a few specific topics that you'd like to see, and I'll make sure that I get those done for you. Um, besides that, if you guys are not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video. 
and thanks for watching.